Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. Mega Man Legends, or Rockman Dash in Japan, was the titular Blue Bomber's first foray into 3D. Released by Capcom on the PS1 in Japan on December 18, 1997, North America on September 10, 1998, and December 4, 1998 in Europe a light-hearted adventure in a somewhat Metroidvania-style interconnected world with townsfolk, enemies, dungeons, and fields. It's not exaggerating to say that this game was a true pioneer of its genre. This jump to 3D saw some truly innovative choices and helped shape the landscape for action-adventure games that followed. This is equally true for the game's soundtrack, which is what we'll be focused on today. I'd like to go over a few tracks, discuss what I think made them work, and talk about the origins of the samples used. The music of Mega Man Legends was composed by Makoto Tomozawa, who you may know for his work on Resident Evil and various other Mega Man titles. The soundtrack of Mega Man Legends uses sequenced music and instrument samples in the VAB format, as opposed to the pre-recorded streamed audio that was growing in popularity at the time. The composition style was a far cry from the bubbly, fast-paced music of OG Mega Man, or the driving rock and heavy metal tracks of Mega Man X. Tomozawa's work in this game has a surprising degree of range, spanning from upbeat, catchy melodies to stage-setting scores, all the way to unsettling ambience. Since I mentioned ambience, let's first look at the track Closer Woods Subgate. This piece of music scared the ever-loving crap out of me as a kid. Most of the subgate music was eerie, but this one in particular stood out above the others in my mind. This ambient music does an excellent job of conveying the abandoned, ancient, technological labyrinth atmosphere to keep you looking over Mega Man's shoulder. This brilliant bit of ambient horror music makes you feel tense, nervous, maybe even fearful, like simply opening a door might lead to danger. And it often does. Accompanied by the already overwhelming scale of the ruins themselves are dissonant swelling strings and whatever this sound is. As a kid, I had a Casio CTK671, and on that little keyboard I stumbled upon the origins of that eerie sound. It's an orchestra hit, but played at a very low pitch. Many of you have probably already guessed that, but for a 10 year old I sure felt like a genius. To be more accurate though, this particular orchestral hit patch that you hear in the song is from the Roland JV1080 Rompler. Just for fun, I decided to remake the Closer Woods subgate music using the JV1080 so we can hear what it might have sounded like if Mega Man Legends used streamed music instead of sequenced. Pretty cool. Tomozawa doesn't just nail ambience, but also does an excellent job of complementing cutscenes with sensational scores. One of the earliest examples of this can be heard just after finishing the intro dungeon. Look at that sky. Well, that's a happy sight after being underground for so long. Hmm, I wonder where Roar went. No way. Back for more?
The tension that builds through big percussion, harsh strings, and then epic brass, followed by a moment of silence just before we hear our heroic, triumphant motif, is simple yet so effective. Scoring to picture can be quite a challenge, and I imagine it was even harder to program music and video to synchronize so well back then, so this is doubly impressive. I love these little cues, even though you may only hear them once in your entire playthrough. This piece of music again uses imported samples recorded from the JV-1080. And before we move on, I want to draw your attention to someone by the name of Koetsu Matsuda. Matsuda is a programmer for Capcom, with his most notable work being the Mega Man Battle Network series, in which he was even immortalized as a side character. In Mega Man Legends, he's credited under Sound Programming. While not much more information is available about his specific duties on this game, it is worth noting that oftentimes in video games of this era, sequenced music could be a bit of a team effort. A sound programmer, for example, might help with things like importing and compressing samples, time stretching or synchronizing the sequenced music for playback in different contexts, or even determining behaviors of dynamic music. While composers typically tend to get most of their recognition for the soundtracks, I think it's equally important to recognize and appreciate that much of this soundtrack was likely made possible by the work of Matsuda as well. With that said, let's take a listen to one last track. This time, I want to highlight Tomozawa's ear for catchy melodies. I could go the obvious route with something like Apple Market or the Flutter theme, but I'm going to throw a bit of a curveball here with the support car theme. It's a pretty simple looping melody, played in brass octaves with a groovy bass line and some swingy drums. It suits the setting, a small R&D room with your two best pals, and you can't tell me that Data's dance and this song don't fit perfectly together. And yes, it's all imported JV-1080 samples. The JV-1080 became my most coveted piece of musical hardware as a kid largely due to its heavy use in Mega Man Legends, which played such an important role in my growth from childhood to adolescence, and in shaping the type of musician that I would grow into, with Tomozawa's influence surely being noticeable in my music today. Every time I play this game, I feel a sense of gratitude that's hard to describe. This game is among a handful that have deeply influenced my taste and touched my heart in some way or another. But what about you? What video game's music stands out to you? Let me know in the comments. I read every single one of them. For those of you who are musicians, I developed a sample pack inspired by Mega Man Legends called Flutter Guy. This is a collection of 60 plus instruments all inspired by and modeled to sound as similar to Mega Man Legends as possible without using anything directly ripped from it. So no worry for the end user with regard to copyright. There are two versions. The first version is 100% free, and all of the samples are designed to sound like they belong on the original PlayStation. Mono, compressed samples with small loop points. The second version is $1.99 and features much higher quality samples in stereo, so you can make your own Mega Man Legends inspired music, but with a more modern audio production quality. And here's what it sounds like in action. All told, the work of Makoto Tomozawa on many projects is superb, and he clearly has an ear for both atmosphere and melody in equal measure. And Mega Man Legends is of course no exception. So whether you're a gamer with a love for this charming classic, or a music maker with a soft spot for these retro styles, I think we can all agree that Mega Man Legends has a truly unique and memorable, albeit simple, soundtrack. And we're so lucky to be able to experience it. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out my coffee shop for a collection of free and affordable sound fonts that capture the spirit of classic games. Also, please consider joining the Patreon where you'll get sneak previews of what I'm working on and beta versions of sound fonts and sample packs, or if you just want to support the channel. Big thank you to my patrons Selena, Justin Hawes, Devox, Sample Text 64, McKay Voiles, Cryonic Sage 7719, and Evan Troop. And finally, a huge thank you to my Discord community. You folks are awesome, and I'm so grateful for you. Thank you all so much for your support, and I'll see you next time.